Hello, I'm Richard O'Neill, storyteller and author, and I'm reading you part three of The Little Fish Who Made It Big. The following day was also full of disappointment. No one wanted to employ a fish, not her anyway. As everyone else in the city was leaving to go home, boarding buses, hailing taxis and unlocking bicycles, the little fish wandered aimlessly, quite despondent about her prospects and the fact that her dream was fading away. She tried hard to think positively in order to cheer herself up, but it was difficult. She had only two more nights left in the city before having to return to the sea. She thought about going back as a failure, how the other fish would laugh at her. Her dream was quickly turning into a nightmare. She came to a small fountain, had a quick dip and felt a lot better and sat on a bench to try and catch a bit of afternoon sun. That's when she saw a cat playing the violin, playing it well, but the tune it was playing was so mournful. The cat stood churning out his tune, a cap in front of his feet with two small coins in it. People were hurrying past the cat, some of them covering their ears as they did so. None were dropping money into the hat. The fish went over to the cat and asked him what he was doing. The cat stopped playing and passers-by looked relieved. What am I doing? The cat repeated, looking down at the little fish. I'm busking, he said. I'm playing my music for the people and they give me money. It's called busking. 